restraint. Again, you might see, I know quite a few just very simple horror films. So you've got a couple that are on the run. So they're, they're small time criminals. Accidentally kill somebody. Well, they just so happen to find a rich, eccentric individual who lives in a large house who's afraid of the outside. That's where I think it sounds kind of dull. But once they get into the house, <coughs> and they're going to take this guy for all of his money, slowly, it becomes this psychological war of attrition between the owner of the house and the other two people involved. That's pretty much the film. Not giving too much away. I thought it was it was done well because the direction it takes is not the direction you think it's going to go in the beginning. So that's as far as I'm going to go. I don't want to give away any sort of spoilers or make you think anything else is going to go on with it. But it's again, it's a simple premise, and it's the acting is done well. Trish Paul was a very good job. She kind of reminds me of like a Kristen Stewart. Just she can act better, and she's better physical presence. So nothing like Kristen Stewart. But she has a, a similar, I guess, build, for lack of better terminology. So again, this is a simple script. The acting between the male leads is actually done very well. With the female lead kind of kind of stuck as almost like a she's not quite a set piece, but you can tell that. Both sides try to manipulate her to try to get to try to achieve their, their own goals. While she is also manipulating them for her own goals. So like I said, it's a weird almost like psychological war of attrition. Until it hits that third act, when it takes a really different tonal shift. <laughs>